In today's video, me and four of my subscribers are going to be building an Ikea in Bloxburg. And at the end of the video, I'll be inviting you guys to actually come to my Ikea and then I'll be trapping you in my trap. So the reason I'm doing this is because on my second channel, I recently played this Ikea horror game in Roblox, which you should definitely go subscribe to my second channel. What are you doing? Go subscribe. Anyway, so a couple of days ago, I recently played that game and I thought, you know what? I'm going to build an Ikea in Bloxburg. Exactly. So here we have my workers with me. We have Headless. We have Snail. I'm just Poe. We have Poe. We have, um, I love my dad. And we have No Face, which he kind of looks like one of those Ikea guys from the game I played. Shakes in fear. So yeah, they are our workers today. And if you guys would like to participate in a future video like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel or you can join my Discord server. You ready? I'm ready for Tuesday. This behind me is my outline of the Ikea, which I will show you the inside soon. So we're going to name this plot Ikea Meatballs. All right, let's go. So this is the Ikea we have so far. Let me give you a little uh, brief overview. So we have section one, which is going to be reception. We have section two, which is going to be home decor. Section three, which is going to be nursery and the kids section. Section four, which is going to be office and workspace. Section five, which is going to be decoration and mirrors. Section six, which is going to be lighting. Seven, which is going to be the storage unit. Nine, which is going to be the cooking showrooms. We then have 10, which is going to be tableware. 11, which is going to be beds and comfort. 12, which is going to be bathrooms. Very good, very nice. Also, what are you doing with the door? Oh wait, that's gonna be the exit, right? Oh, it's probably that. And then we of course have the outside of the Ikea, which is what I'll be working on. So I'm gonna let these folks do their inside. I really don't know what to expect. All I said was, uh, have fun. So I think the first thing I'm going to do before anything is um have some escalators. Escalator? Escalators in here. <laughs> so people actually have a way to uh, get down. <laughs> Now, for the outside, Ikea's signature color is blue, yellow, and white. So for the outside here, we're going to paint this blue. Why is it not painting blue? Hello. There we go. And if you didn't know, the inside of an Ikea is kind of shaped like a maze. Now you're probably like, whoa, Alaska, why is this so sped up? That's because my mic stopped working and I lost like 10 minutes of footage. So you're going to get a cute little voiceover while I rant about how much I hate my mic because every single time I go to film, during the video, it will stop not working randomly and I hate it but anyway and um yeah you didn't really miss much because I was struggling to do this stupid Ikea sign anyway and at this point right here I then realized my mic stopped working so enjoy a few moments later Oh my god, guys, I can't make this up. So, you're like, whoa, that was a big jump. Okay, guys, listen, I was just recording. I didn't realize that my mic turned off. Surprise, the IKEA sign's done. But I said in the video, oh my god, I was saying how yesterday I filmed a build battle for two hours. My mic wasn't on and the build battle flopped, even though I prepared it for like two weeks. So I was like, oh my god, it'd be really funny if I didn't have my mic on right now. I check and my mic wasn't on for like 20 minutes. You're joking. Anyway, little update with the IKEA. We have the sign complete. Does it look good? Not really, but I don't care. So now for the inside, right? We have someone working on section three, which is going to be the kid section. Looks like they're doing some kid showrooms, which looks very nice. And whoever is doing section six looks like the heaven above have just entered Bloxburg because I can see the light room all the way over here. As for the storage unit though, this actually looks pretty good. This looks like identical to an Ikea storage unit. So once you go through the entire Ikea, you're then at the end of the showroom. So you know what? They've done pretty good with that. All right, so our Ikea sign is complete. But to really make it stand out, we're gonna add some more lighting to make it glow, my dudes, because I want this Ikea to be glowing. I want this Ikea to look like Adriana Lima. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What does that even mean? I've got no clue. Okay, so I'm going to quickly outline the Ikea sign with some LED lights. All right, how's the sign go? Whoa, that is bright. You know what though? We're going to make this nighttime because look how cool it looks like at night, you know? Okay, I'm going to check on everyone. How are y'all going? Someone just says you should check the basement. Oh, okay. I see the traps coming along. Yay, so excited to trap people. I sound like a psychopath. Now, the thing with an Ikea is that they typically have massive parking lots. So I'm not kidding. This section here is going to be one massive parking lot. 
lot. Okie dokie, how many parking lots are we gonna have in here? One thing I hate about Ikea as well is parking. I don't know why, but I feel like every time I go to an Ikea, I can never find parking spots. <laughs> this has got to be the biggest parking lot I think I've ever done in a build before. Usually my parking spots aren't that big, but this is huge. I feel like we need some cars in here. It's, it's very empty right now. You know, we can have um, a mum driving her little minivan and we can have a, you know, a president rocking up in his limo. Yeah, why not? Now, typically I would add windows in this Ikea, but I don't know whether or not to add windows because I feel like an Ikea just does not have windows. Do you guys remember going to an Ikea and it had windows? I feel like an Ikea just wants you to feel like there's no huh? escape. Like, I'm telling you, an Ikea is a horror movie. And to give this Ikea a little bit more structure, we're just gonna go in with some of these basic shapes. Architecture to the front of the Ikea, darling. There we go, very nice. Gosh, I'm so stressed out about my mic now. I keep checking it every two seconds. Guys, let me tell y'all a little story time while I build, okay? Cue the intense, dramatic music now. So, this has happened three times this week where I've like went to record a video and my mic has either not been huh? on or I've just like forgotten to turn it on. The first time this happened was within 10 minutes of a video. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll just, I'll restart the video. It'll be fine. And then the second time was my build battle that I filmed yesterday. And that was after I filmed. So I literally filmed for two and a half hours just to realize it wasn't on. Not happy about that. And then today, as I was talking about the fact that I was mad that my mic's not working lately, I then realized my mic's not working. So yeah, I'm having super fun today. Love this for me. Now, last thing we're gonna add to the front of the Ikea is just a little garden. I just deleted my wall. <gasps> All right, garden's done, which means the front of the Ikea is practically finished. So now we can start working on the inside, finally. So we've got section three over here, still working on the nursery and some of the kids' showrooms, adorable. We've got the lighting section, which, oh my gosh, I love the way this turned out. <gasps> this is stunning, mate. The plants up the top, Mwah. and then we have the storage unit over here. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna work on is the reception area, which is going to be here. Typically, there's not really a big, Ikea reception because most of it is at the back of the Ikea anyway. Like you get all your stuff here and then you order it at the back. So for the reception, <laughs> I just see this massive snail out there. <laughs> that is so cute. Anyway, oh, you know what we can also have? A map of the Ikea. So like as soon as you walk in, there'll be a map right here. What do you reckon Ikea receptionists sit on? These kid royal chairs? <laughs> um, excuse you. Who's messing up my walls? Excuse you. I'm fixing things. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Uh, they weren't evenly spaced. Um, yeah, that sounds like me. Leave it to me to have my building not evenly spaced. There isn't an exact middle. Oh, I see what they're talking about. Oh yeah, that's annoying. You know, just goes Alaska. <laughs> they're disappointed in me. I'm sorry. One more thing I'm going to add by the door. It's one of those little buzzy things so people can't steal things. Because we don't want people stealing from the Ikea, do we? No. Well, I'll get ya. You'll be caught. Okay, some LED lights around here. Then, ha ha ha, you cannot steal stuff. What is this person trying to say? Um, restart. Alaska, are you men? Restart. Alaska, you are beautiful. Like a, like a what? Violet. Oh my god. You guys make me lose my brain cells. But thank you, I love you. Whoever's helping me with this reception area, they are the best. This is why I love building with you guys because I'll build and then you guys will help me decorate as I'm building. It's really cute. It's a cool team effort. <gasps> you know what I just realized? Okay, I know whoever put the fridges here, good idea, but I may have to move them because where are we going to place the trolleys? Technically, we don't have trolleys, but we have these little bed carts, which I'm going to use instead. <gasps> we can make them blue and yellow like the Ikea colors. So I'm just going to have a bunch of them stacked here like this. And then for the people who have kids, we'll also have some strollers lined up as well. See, we're inclusive, guys. You know, I think we might have the Ikea map up the top here. So, you know, what? I think I'm just gonna have like some commercial counters And I'm actually pretty sure Bloxburg has meatballs in these food warming trays. So that is perfect There's cute little plastic shopping carts. No, we're gonna have to have these as well. That is adorable All right, so we've got the reception area. Now we have section two of the Ikea, which was the Two seconds later home decor. Yes, it was a home decor this is my personal favorite section of Ikea. Because, I mean, who doesn't love home decor? For the home decor, maybe on this section back here, we can have some shelves. You know what the good thing is, though? Whatever we want to place, we can literally just, like, place it down and then boom. We might have to make custom tables. 
So we'll place a basic shape like this. And then we can go into decor and place everything we would have in a home. Yep, tissue boxes in case we want to cry. Actually, if we go into home decor, we have like all the sections here. What about clutter? What if we go into clutter? Oh yeah, now we're talking. House of cards, does that count as home decor? I don't know. Oh, we can have a little plant section in home decor. Whenever I go into Kmart or um, Big W, I will always go into the home decor section and go straight to the plants and I will most likely buy a plant. It's just routine. I will always buy a plant. I feel like we need to use more pastel colors. All right, what else goes in home decor? Maybe some vases? Some vases, some vases, whatever this is. I love how my home decor section is so unorganized. And then we go over to you guys. Look at this. Whoever's doing this showroom in the nursery, mwah, chef's kiss. You know what, at the back here, I'm gonna place a bunch of these bookshelves. And you know what we're gonna fill in here? Towels. We can use different materials that we don't usually use. I'm actually so curious as to how much this Ikea is costing so far. I'm expecting at least 400,000 because keep in mind, we're using a lot of decor and little decor items like this cost so much and we're literally adding them everywhere. So all I'm gonna say is your girl's gonna be broke by the end of this video, not clickbait. Oh, Zeon said, okay, I think the lighting area is done. All right, let's check this out. Oh, damn, okay. Wait, they kind of ate this. Oh, <gasps> then we've got the bathroom section. Oh, that looks so good. However, how are you gonna get uh, through here? <laughs> you know what, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Okay, so I've got all the towels. I might just stack these at the back here and then one more thing we need is big fat juicy plants every plant known to man $400 plants uh, don't mind if I do $460 ugly plant yeah sure wait do TVs count as home decor am I stupid am I gonna have to google what is home decor <laughs> no I'm pretty sure TVs count right you know what shut up we're doing TVs I know that it should technically be in the electronic section but we actually do not have an electronic center here so you know what we're gonna have the TVs here now ooh, another thing we can have in the home decor is fireplaces Love me a good old fireplace. Another little uh, build hack that uh, Ikea does, I think, is they put carpets in between like each section. So then I think it makes it easier to like walk between. So yeah, that is the home decor section all complete. So now for section three. As you can see, someone is already doing this. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing because they're already doing a pretty good job. I'm just gonna quickly add a little sneaky sneak shelving unit here because one thing i do want to add in the kit section oh, this is so cute we can have the bins at the bottom here and then fill all this up with toys the kit section in ikea is like every kid's dream oh my god one thing they sell at ikea is these creepy banana men i hate them oh we can have a cool uh car section up here broom 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 and to make these toys stand out what i do is add track lighting on the roof Okay, so the kids section is done. We then have section four, which is clearly the office and workspace area. One of you guys must have added some desks and what else do we need in an office area? I'm thinking computers, you know? We have all the computers here. Oh, you know what? We also have these like really fancy computers. However, they are blocks box, but you know what? I don't mind being a little bit fancy today. We can buy this fancy computer. And another fancy computer right here. Oh my god, we can change the lighting. That is sick. I just open chat. What is this? Madame Baguette. Okay, I don't know whoever is doing this section here. This looks so good. I think I might help them out by having some desk organizers. What else can we have? Tape? Uh, oh, pens? I'm a sucker for pens. What the hell is going on in the chat? I can see the unicorn's bum from the backside of the Ikea. What? Oh! <laughs> I see. Oh no, we don't talk about the back of the Ikea, okay? Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Someone just said don't show in vid. <laughs> Too late for that. I think that is the office and workspace area done. We then have the next section, which is, well, clearly someone has already finished the rugs, the flooring, and the curtains, which, oh my golly gosh, this looks beautiful. So section 11, this was beds and comfort. So what I'm I'm going to do is make a little tiny showroom. You know those iconic showrooms in Ikea? And you kind of just like pretend that you live in there? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. You know that meme it goes like, every day I wake up and I hope you're dead. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. That scene there, I picture doing that, but like inside of an Ikea. Now, thing with Ikea showrooms, especially the beds, is that we have to make these beds um, very preppy. So nice, comfortable pillows everywhere. This is gonna be the most basic 
big room because I mean it is a showroom after all. Okay, the showroom's nearly done. We might just have a little fake painting up here. I'm not sure if we're allowed to do this, but the amount of times I've just like jumped on an IKEA showroom bed. I've only been to an IKEA like once, but every single bed that I walked past, I jumped on. Was I allowed to? Probably not. What are the IKEA employees gonna do about it, huh? They ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, so we've got showroom number uno. And then over here, this is gonna be showroom number dos. Yeah, I know how to speak Spanish. I'm kidding. No, I don't. Don't bully me. I'm thinking this showroom here can be a very manly wooden showroom bed. Like I'm talking wooden bed, wooden log table, wooden lamp. I don't know about me, but like my subscribers are killing it. These people right here, look, without them, I would not even finish this IKEA. They are absolutely smashing it. Okay, so everyone told me that they're all done. They're just waiting on me. <laughs> So I said, we're all going to do section 10 and 11 together. And we're all just going to let our creative differences intertwine, you know? Oh, I've already noticed that someone added a bed. You know what? Considering we're all helping each other out, I'm going to paint your bed for you. Oh, never mind. You just painted it yourself. <laughs> also, whoever's doing this bed, that is so cool. Now, considering this is bed and comfort, I'm going to add like two shelves here because we need somewhere to place the pillows because we have like a lot of pillows. I don't think that goes in bed and comfort. I said, let's all fill in these cabinets with pillows and blankets. All right, let's see how fast they do it. Knowing them, it's going to be faster than me, that's for sure. Also, don't ask how these pillows are just floating in the air. Um, I've got no clue. I wish I could tell you. Oh, someone's doing the blankets over here. Very cute. I'm just concerned as to who on earth is doing section 11 over there. Why is there a reindeer? Like what? Okay, so section 10, which is beds, is all complete. This was meant to be bathrooms, I think, but uh, one of you guys just decided to do a Christmas theme in the middle of uh, January. So yeah. Okay, so that means our Ikea is finally complete. So the total of this Ikea comes to $616,000. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is how the outside of the Ikea turned out. Not too schnubby, but the fun is on the inside. So as soon as we walk into the Ikea, <laughs> <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. How did you just get in here? Hello? Oh, the other one. Oh, okay, I see. Anyway, as soon as you walk in here, you have the map of the Ikea up here, just in case you get lost. And then um, usually there'll be two receptionists here. So you can grab a little cart and then go through your jolly way. And you can either go up the escalators or just go straight. But you know what? I think I might go this way. So before anything, I'm going to fill these with uh, meatballs just so our guests have something to eat because um, Ikea wouldn't be Ikea without meatballs. There we go. We've got the iconic Ikea meatballs already and prepared. So if we go through this section here, we have the home decor section. So my personal favorite, Gordon Ram Ram on the TV, all our towels. And then if we keep going through this section, we then have the nursery and the kids section. So I've got all the toys and the showrooms, which, oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with these showrooms. Whoever done this, well, no, this person right here ate with the showroom. These are amazing. We have a boys showroom and then we've got a girls one, which is very cute. We've got this weird snail sleeping in the bed. And then if we go through this section, we then have the office and workspace area. Whoever done this was like so creative with the way they placed the chairs and the tables on top of the rugs. Like what? So yeah, we have all of our decor and then going through here, we have the rugs, floors, and curtains. Again, such a creative way of doing this, especially the floors like this here. <gasps> Shooked. So then heading straight, we have the lighting section, which again, my personal favorite. We love lighting. And then if we go up the escalators, we then have the bathroom and we have some in the bath. So not going to look at him. So yeah, got all of our toilet stuff, all of our bathroom products. Very nice. And then keep heading straight. We have the bed and comfort section, which if there's no staff looking, you have all the right to jump on the beds. And the last section we have up here is the uh, random Christmas section in the middle of January and the kitchen section. And then last but not least, oh my gosh, I'm getting lost in my own Ikea. We then have the storage unit down here. And uh, I don't really know where everyone is. Oh, okay. Oh, what is this? What is this? Yeah, whoever's gonna get trapped in our Ikea sucks to be them. Um, Is there like a way to get out of here? I'm stuck. Hello? That being said, the Ikea is opened now to the public. Everyone in their places. I'm gonna work at our front reception here. Oh, we have a few first customers coming in. Oh, beautiful. Hello, welcome to my Ikea. Wrong way, babe. 
Wrong way. Yep, that way. Stupid. What are you? I didn't know this was a furry convention. What is that? Absolutely not. Get out of my store. Okay, hello. Welcome to Ikea. Please take a trolley and look around. What's with the outfits, y'all? There's more animals in here than people. Hello. Welcome to my Ikea. Come in, come in. Oh, I can see someone stealing the meatballs. Yes, sir. The meatballs are good, huh? Made them myself. Oh, we've got some happy customers shopping around. Oh, we have one person testing out the showrooms. What does she think? Looks like she likes it so far. That is terrifying. I find it so cute that everyone has like their little cartons and they're like going around the store. It's so cute. Hey, there's not many people in the uh, office section. Oh, there's one person. Oh, ma'am, there's no weapons allowed in this IKEA. Okay, low key. Why do I ship these two? Like they, there's three of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're infiltrating my Ikea. What is going on? Anyway. All right, what about the curtains? Is anyone shopping for some curtains? No? Oh, one person. I reckon she's gonna buy some. Ooh, very fancy. Yeah, you should definitely buy some. Love me some good flooring. <laughs> you know, I kind of just want to follow her around, see what she does. Okay, she's looking around at the lights. Not interested. She's going up to the bathroom products. Oh, no, nah, she doesn't want anything from the bathroom. What about the bedroom? Why do you look so sad? Okay, there's no one in the kitchen, surprisingly. Oh, wait, no. <gasps> there's one person in the kitchen. Oh, I think she's gonna buy something. Oh, wow, what a shocker. There's no one in the Christmas section during January. This girl right here. Oh, we have someone testing out the toilets. Do you reckon he's gonna like them? Did that guy just take a poo in my toilet and leave? That is disgusting, mate. Alaska, please send me poo pictures now. What? Excuse me? What's with everyone going with this toilet? I know it's the most fancy toilet, but come on. We've got free toilets here. 10 out of 10 toilet. I'm, I'm glad she approves. I love this guy. This guy is just eating food while like walking around the Ikea. He's iconic. We love him. Oh, what's this? You can purchase the desk. It's a hundred bucks. And no, my soul isn't for sale. <laughs> what's going on here? I don't have that much money. I can give um employee discount. <gasps> you cannot give employee discount. Excuse me. Okay, I'll take it. Woo, we have our first sale, guys. Round of applause. This girl right here, buying a bed. I'm gonna follow one of my employees, see what they're up to. All right, where are you off to, Missy? Okay, what on earth is going on at like the front counter? here. There is so much going on. I'm scared. Okay. I think there is only one solution to this. I think we may have to implement the trap. Oh, hello. What's your name? Ah! <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did I just fall down my own trap? Ain't no way. This was not meant to happen. Alaska, you're not supposed to be in there. I'm aware. Get me out of here. I was meant to trap you guys, not trap myself. <laughs> Are you joking? Help me, please. I'm stuck with these crazy people. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Everyone, come to the back of the storage unit. Yeah, I need to see this. Oh, <laughs> I need to see how many people get trapped. All right. Oh, oh, we got another one. We got another one. Yeah, everyone come to my Ikea. It's wonderful in here. Hello, welcome to my basement of the Ikea. There is no escape. And you're probably like, how do you get out of here? There is um no exit. Have fun in my Ikea, guys. <laughs> You scared me. Okay, with that being said, I think everyone in my Ikea is officially trapped. So it's just me in here. And uh, this guy who keeps stealing my meatballs, Jeffrey. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building Ikea in Bloxburg. This was a super fun video. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel or I will trap you in my Ikea basement. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.